Lori Rowan. Um, I worked in the crafts with the boys, and it was, and actually, yes, the girls, the Mormon girls were in there rotating in and out, people were kind of rotating in and out of different spots. But um, the thing that I saw as I talked to the other adults that they had four groups that were coming around, you know, like how we float around in our groups, the adults that take the kids. And she said, I think our high number was 29. We had one 20 day, and it's mostly floating like 25, 27 with the kids that were coming. And she said only four were from their church. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, four kids that they regularly have in Sunday school. She said, there's a couple other churches out there that do it, but for the most part, people just don't take their kids to church, and they were, you know, just bring them to us. So we had, you know, close to 30 kids a day that we were affecting. And there was this one little boy, I saw his name was Jeffrey. Um, buzz haircut, um, really impressive deep in the basketball and the rack and stuff, but he had a cute pair of tennis shoes on, and he said, when are you leaving? And I said, Saturday, and he said, I wish you guys would stay, and I hope you come back next year. And I thought that was just sweet. Um, D. Jones, uh, one thing I got for the trip is uh, I gained a lot of praise, uh, patience from working with like, the kids and like, uh, a little more flexibility because things always didn't go as planned. One thing I feel like I gave to the kids uh, about the more. It was just like, uh, uh, like a great sense of, uh, I don't know, love and being yeah, appreciated. And I know everyone there like, appreciated all of our time that we gave to them and what we did for them. They're always very thankful for what we do for them. I'm Charlie Moore, and I've gained like more open eyes to people who don't have as much money and stuff as us. Um, hi, I'm Evan. Uh, I guess I was just kind of like surprised that how generous everybody was. One time, Eli and I were uh, going down to the corner store, and uh, and. Uh, and I only had six dollars in my pocket, but uh, the things I kind of wanted were like seven dollars. And he, and the guy, the cat, and the cashier just forgave like the whole dollar. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jim Carver, and um, one thing that I think we gave them was a really awesome vacation Bible school. And one thing that they gave us was just a really awesome opportunity to serve them and God. Hi, I'm Curry Corbin. What I took back from Buckhorn is how much they actually appreciated us coming and doing a VBS. Hi, I'm Kristen Orban. And one thing that I gained from Buckhorn is that even though they don't have a lot of stuff, they still had a great love for God and everyone around them. And Sarah, one thing I took away from Buckhorn is how nice they were. They were like if you were walking down the street, they asked you if you were from Columbus and like struck up a conversation and the church fed us a couple times and they were just really, really nice. Um, probably what I took away from the corn was just their amazing kindness and caring that they gave us because they fed us lunch one day and it was just amazing of how many of how much food they put out and they were just like, eat, eat, come on, eat the food. <laughs> and it was very good food. I'm Mackenzie, and I think one thing we took to Buckhorn was part of our energy and I think our excitement, and we gave it to them. And in return, they gave us kind of their openness to do whatever happened. So some days it rained, and recreation had to be put into some other places and walk through the rain, but they didn't mind really. I'm Lexi Jack Whitener, and I think one of there was one thing that really struck me about Buckhorn. And like there was one last day on Friday. It was storming during our opening. And Katie and Maya did an awesome job leading the songs. And all of a sudden the power goes out. So we have no music. None of the words were up on the screen anymore. And Katie and Maya just kept going. They just kept singing. And I think it really helped the Buckhorn kids to realize that, you know, no matter what, we're going to keep going. And we're going to keep doing this. And it's going to rock. <laughs> so I think Katie and I did an awesome job with that. I think we all, all of us, kind of, like we just kept going, the energy was awesome that night. I think one thing that we, oh, I'm Katie 
you guys in my hair. And I think one thing that we took there was just our love and enjoyment to do what we do for other people. And then one thing I think we should all take back is the compassion that everyone at Buck Point has for everyone else and how they don't separate us because we're different. Thank you. 